If you've just spent a lot of money on a bike and you intend on traveling abroad, well, it's worth investing in a good box to put it in. And they don't come much better than this one provided by Bike Box Allen. So in this video, we're going to show you how to safely pack your bike into a box like this. You are going to need a few tools for the job, a set of Allen keys like this one to remove the seat post, stem and top cap. And we're also going to need to take the pedals off, which might require an Allen key or it might require a pedal spanner like this one with a 15 millimeter fitting. Finally, some tape will always come in handy. And despite the fact that it's gonna be very safe inside this box, if you're going to be particularly protective about your frame, some extra padding like this could also come in handy. First things first though, make sure that you take any accessories off the bike which you don't want to include in the box. And by that I mean a head unit like this Garmin one that we've got, because I'm going to want to put that in my hand luggage. Similarly, if you've got electronic gears, you'll also need to remove the battery. Next, put the chain onto the smallest cog on the cassette. This will make it much easier to drop the rear wheel out later. You'll need to remove the seat post and saddle. Make sure you've got your saddle height marked. You can easily do this with some tape. Once removed, make sure you don't lose the seat post collar by doing it back up. OK, time to take the pedals off. Remember the drive side pedal will unscrew anti-clockwise as you look at it from the outside, like a normal bolt. For the non-drive side, you'll need to turn it clockwise as you look at the bike. Some pedals will need a 15mm pedal spanner, others will need an Allen key okay, inserted from go. the other side. Next, loosen the stem bolt so that it turns freely on the fork steerer tube and then remove the wheels and place the frame gently into the box. You'll need to remove the quick releases completely from the wheels. We have to start with the front one. With this bike box, it's important you do it in that order. Don't lose the two cone-shaped springs which you find on either side of the axle around the hub here. The point on the box, as you can see, it says front wheel here. And we're going to put this quick release axle through the hole and then using the lock nut that you had with it just put that on the other side as it's poking through and you can start doing it up to secure it into place. We'll do exactly the same thing with the rear wheel. The cassette of course goes on the inside through the hole again putting the lock nut on the other side not really much movement in there so we're now ready to go onto the frame. Okay, now with the pedals removed and the stem and handlebars away from the frame, we can put it in. You want to have the chain set facing downwards, resting on the foam, and the bottom bracket closest to the lid where the wheels are. Make sure you keep your handlebars on top for the moment. We'll secure them in place in a minute. It's not a bad idea to shift your rear mech back upwards. That will just allow the frame to sit slightly neater inside the box. I'm just going to use a couple of these Velcro straps to lightly secure the rear part of the frame into place. You might find that you need to take your bottles out in order to get the straps around on your frame. And finally, for the frame at the front, you've got this Velcro strap here, which goes around the down tube of the frame and the other part of it goes underneath the fork leg. This will stop your forks from sliding out from the frame and again secure everything in place. Okay, next up the handlebars. You want to kind of move them round in this direction. And there are two straps on the base here, one for each part of the bar on either side. Just place it in there initially and just make sure that the stem well, the STI levers aren't anywhere near your frame, potentially scratching it in transit. But the way the box is designed, once you've got it strapped in place, it should be like that anyway. But you can just take some kind of bubble wrap if you want and just put it all around this area. You just need to cut it into place and all this padding will then just make sure it doesn't go anywhere near the frame. Okay, it's now time to put into the bike box the things that we took off the bike. Starting with the pedals, and you'll notice there are various straps all the way around. And then again, the same with the saddle and seat post. I tend to put it down towards the bottom here. We've got one more strap. If you're going to take in the bike box any of the tools that you've used or any extra tools that you want to take with you, then you need to put them underneath the padding. 
you can slide it down underneath. That's why there's no way of them coming into contact with the bike. And then if you want to put any kind of clothes or extra things inside, now's the time to do it. You can just neatly place them around the frame, rotate the wheels so they're not going to get in the way of that anti-crush bar. And then we can place it in there. And this last piece of foam now goes over the top and that piece of foam will also help to keep this anti-crush bar in roughly the right position. And then we're ready to close it. There we go. One bike in its box, safe to travel abroad. If you want to learn how to pack your bike into a bike bag, click here. If you're going to put it into a cardboard box, click here. And if you're going to put it into a hard box, click here.